So, you want to know how to make a voxel crate in Magica Voxel. Hey guys, boy, my that's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Magica Voxel once again. Um, we're doing a little bit of a speed art uh, tutorial time lapse thing uh, once again, and I figure we'll go ahead and get started. We'll delete the uh, the big old default cube, the default cube. <laughs> we'll go to box tool with the B and go to attach. Go to the third and final palette, and we'll choose somewhere like a brownish kind of tan color create a box and then we'll use the F tool which is the face tool to attach and pull up a giant cube like that um, and I want to do the edges now around all of the edges we'll get a darker color go to the line tool and just paint on some of those edges uh, get some of those uh, those planks of wood to really start to come out um, and then after that I'll go ahead and go do the same exact thing but across the faces of the actual crate maybe in a diagonal kind of fashion you know how crates look um, and I'm just trying to do on the, the tops and the bottoms as well, trying to get my colors to be where I want them, uh, a little bit more red, a little bit less saturation, I guess. Um, then we'll put those on those all those corners, we'll do a little bit of anti-aliasing, just with a bit of a darker color as well, pushing it to the red, desaturating a little bit, darkening it, and of course, we'll get a slightly lighter color than the actual wood color to represent some planks maybe that are going through. Um, and the texture of the actual wood. And I decided to go different directions because I think it just looks a little bit cooler uh, than having them all go the same way. And then we'll go ahead and anti-alias some of the other lines that we didn't before. Some of the darker uh, lines with that uh, with that third darkest color. Once again, just fixing up my colors. Make sure they're where I want them to be. And we'll go ahead and I want to do a couple different variations of this. So I'm going uh, to get rid of this white that I'm putting on right now. And we'll duplicate this and we'll move it over and stuff. But right now I'm just adding like a little bit of a reinforced crate type of look. Maybe a little bit of steel on the edges. Um, but yeah, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do all the corners that way. And then we'll lighten up the gray. Get a little bit of the highlight in there. And then we'll do a third highlight as well. Um, something like that. So we have three different color grays there on all of the edges. A little bit of a reinforced type of crate, but you can see, like I said, once again, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to select, copy, and then paste that, move it on over with the move tool, and then we'll just do a variation of that same that same one. Um, so we have the regular one, then the reinforced, and then we'll do a third one, which is going to be the destroyed looking one. So we'll go ahead and copy and paste that, use the move tool underneath all of the tool options on the left hand side there. And we'll get some of those uh, destroyed little pieces on there with a darker gray, almost purpley kind of saturated thing going on. And we'll erase some of those bits and all together. So that's going to be it for the uh, barrels. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Super quick and super easy. You can use these for anything. Uh, they look great for game art. If that's what you're going for. So I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.